Hi, welcome to January favourites, which I wasn't going to do and then I decided to because that's the kind of on the edge living I'm doing right now. First favourite is the Lancome Art Liner, which I hadn't used in years and bought again because I was in Boots in Westfield, which is a very addictive place to be. Um, and yeah, I love it. I've forgotten how much I love it. It's just got a very nice um, length of nib. Um, it's a bit like the, oh, I can't remember the brand. There's a, an amazing one. I'll put it in the description box below that you can get from like, um, Maybelline or somewhere that comes in a gold tube that I used to use all the time. I think it's L'Oreal, um, felt tip liner, but, um, it's like this. It's very black. It's very long lasting. Um, it's just a very good liner, but it's 20 quid, which isn't so great, but it's worth it because it's a good liner. My second favourite is a book. Um, it is Clothes Music Boys by Viv Alwateen, who was in a band called The Slits and generally was an awesome lady at the time where there weren't many awesome ladies on the punk scene. Basically, she was friends with The Clash and um, Johnny Thunders and cool people. And um, it's just very amazingly uplifting and well written and kind of not what I expected it to be. You would expect it to be like, yeah, I was friends with the Sex Pistols. How cool am I? It's not like that at all. It's like, this is all the stuff that you do when you're young and you shouldn't be doing the stuff that you're doing, but you do it anyway and it's all accidental. And it, it was very cool, but I can't take credit for it being cool, which is cool. So um, if you like music, if you like non-fiction, if you like punk, if you like London in the 70s um, and 80s, then then uh, this is a great book. Um, I've just filmed a video using this. This is the Gwen Stefani palette from Urban Decay, which I don't think you can get anymore, um, which came out at the end of 2015. Um, and which I've sort of fallen back in love with because loads of people who bought it were saying to me that they didn't know how to use it or they were using the same three colours. So I've been using it to try and come up with as many everyday wearable looks that I can use in these colours. Every time I do one of those videos, which I've just filmed, um, you can of course substitute these colours for other colours that you may have. Um, go to that thing but this is a very good palette um enough said really this is a favorite um this time last year i was working in selfridges with louise young at her pop-up stand and um i pointed to this blusher and said i loved the color but i could never wear it and she immediately told me that i was being ridiculous and of course i could wear it and she put it on me and i fell in love and i got it and I've been wearing it a lot and the camera never does this oh. justice are you gonna zoom are you gonna focus camera no it's not but you get the kind of gist of it it's a really hot pink um, and it is so beautiful that if you're someone who's always wanted to try a hot pink blush and hasn't try this one because it just blends so beautifully um, I'm a big fan of all Louise's blushes as you probably know but this one is my January favourite because it, the pop of pink um, has just been really getting me through the miserable winter month. Um, I might put a little bit on now. Next is the um, Deep Moisture Body Lotion for Dry Skin from Norwegian Formula. From Norwegian, for I mean it's Neutrogena, Norwegian formula. This has been in my favourites before. Somebody asked me, well asked Twitter, what was good for really dry skin that was suffering because we're having such a cold snap in the UK at the moment. And I said, this, I have chronically dry skin, really bad dry skin. Um, and this is better for me than anything that I've had prescribed from the doctor. Not for eczema, it's just for very dry skin. If you get dry, itchy, flaky skin, give this a go. I put it on after my bath at night and I still can feel the effects of it the day after. Um, and it's £5 for 
for this much. Um, it smells nice, it's easy to apply. It doesn't feel sticky, but it feels rich. Um, so I cannot recommend this enough. Um, and after I'd recommended it to her, I went straight to the shop and bought it because I was like, I have dry itchy skin, what am I doing? Um, then I'm going to do a proper review of these, but this is the Ginger and Clementine Moisturising Foam Bath from Waitrose. It's £1.50. They do six different smells and it smells amazing and it does proper bubbles even in hard water areas, which I live in. Um, the smell is not overwhelming. It is £1.50. It's not that you're going to walk into your bathroom and be like, oh, ginger with a hint of clementine. No. It does smell, and it smells amazing in the bottle. Um, it definitely loses some of its smell when it's put in the bath, but the fact that it smells a bit, and it is foamy, and it is £1.50, and quite often I have three of these different flavours because they'll do three, two, three for two, which means you're getting like three of these for three quid or something. Um, but this is my favourite smell because it's the one that smells best in the bath, if that makes sense. My last favourite <coughs> is, I don't know if you can see him, hmm. my little monkey charm. My husband for my 30th birthday bought me this charm bracelet and my best friend bought me uh, lightning charm and then every time I have had a birthday or Christmas and he has felt like it my nice husband has bought me a charm to go on it so we've got a star for Ned a beetle for Jim and a monkey because I call my husband monkey so um, we get them all made by a jeweler called Ming who is based in Westbourne Park Notting Hill West London um, and she is lovely and <laughs> very patient and apparently, I've seen the beetles, I haven't seen the monkeys, draws him a whole variety of stuff that he can then choose and then she makes them by hand. Just stunning, amazing jewellery. And basically, as she does my uh, push present rings as well, I'm basically not allowed in there unless I've recently spawned because I just want everything. Um, so that is my one of my favourites, probably my favourite favourite. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have all survived January, which was grim. I started off being really positive in my happy 2017 uh, video, and Donald Trump has ruined January for me. What a wanker. Sorry to swear. No other word for it. What? I mean... Speechless. Anyway least favourite thing of 2017, Donald Trump. Um, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time, maybe be a little less ranty, who knows.